Hi, Aerial Yogis. I'm Camille, and welcome back to my Camille Yoga Aerial Yoga channel. So, today's class uh, will be focused on the lower back and pain reduction relief in that area. And actually, this class was created uh, because one of our channel members requested for this kind of a class. So, Esther, this class is for you. And if you would like to become the member of my channel, you can find the join button just under the video uh, down below or if you're watching this on your phone, then just follow the link down in the description. Or if you don't want to become a member of my channel, you can also make just one-time donation by clicking that heart-shaped uh, button under the, each video you will find and perhaps like that, you would support my free aerial yoga classes that I share. Okay, but now let's get back to the our today's class theme and as I mentioned before we will focus on that lower back but doesn't mean that we precisely only focus on the lower back uh, maybe perhaps you have overstrained uh, feeling in that area from sitting around too much uh, during your work hours and days or maybe you have like Lord doors this kind of arch in the lower back which also creates a pain because perhaps your abdominal muscles are weak so Actually, there are a few components uh, how to reduce the pain or get stronger and more stable in that area. And it combines of not only back muscle strength, but mo more importantly, the glute muscle strength, core muscles, or abdominal muscles in the front. And also, uh, it depends on your uh, legs and hips flexibility. So that, that's what we will today target, those things, those areas and the body parts, just that you would feel more uh, comfortable with your lower back and have a happy back. <laughs> okay, so let's get started with the class, okay? So just make sure that the silk is uh, hips height, more or less, okay? And I, as always, uh, will be facing sideways, but you can face towards me like that with your mat. Okay, so let's first just lay down on a mat and we will start in there. Okay, so just lay down on your back with the feet inside the silk. Okay, let's just adjust. And make sure your feet are flexed and active slightly to the sides that you just want to slide out of the silk. And for the beginning of the class, just let's settle in with the body, with the breath. So you perhaps can close your eyes, arms just by your sides and start swinging from side to side through your legs. In that way, we are also massaging that lower back, glutes, sacrum area, do a little bit release and bring that awareness to your body. Keep breathing slowly and deeply through your nose. Feeling how the air moves in and out. Just a few more breaths. And then slowly stop somewhere in the middle, just a neutral position as we now continue the dynamic bridge pose. So make sure that your arms still by your hips, uh, pressing downwards. And then with inhalation, just feel how your glutes engage and then you're tucking your pelvis under and keep lifting off the ground through the middle back, through the upper back until you reach your shoulders and your neck. And exhaling slowly, vertebra by vertebra, Press your upper back downwards, middle back through your waistline, all the way down to the pelvis and tailbone. And again, inhaling and again, bone by bone, just feeling that wave emotion through your spine all the way up and exhaling again, waving down, just gluing your back, your spine all the way to the floor. So keep continuing like this, moving together with your breath and feeling how the breath out, moves your body downwards. Feel the whole back of the body active and engage as you are up and as you lower down, everything slowly releases. Okay, so now let's meet up and stay there. 
perhaps narrowing and drawing your shoulder blades together just to release the pressure off the neck that you would stand more on your shoulders pressing to the floor rather relieving the weight on your neck okay if you want you can interlace your fingers if that's more comfortable for you if not you can just leave your palms downwards and now we add a little bit pulses through your glutes through your pelvis area and of course through the lower back so just slightly release the pelvis and squeeze in even higher feel your hamstrings activating through so just pulsing up and down keep breathing slowly okay and the last one let's squeeze in and hold just breathe last breath in and breathing out let's release but slowly again through that wave motion through the spine all the way down until you feel your pelvis on the floor and then swing it out to release that tension and quite strong engagement through the back of your body so the swinging feeling coming connection with your body with sensations especially in that lower back area and let's continue on so now we will stretch out through the back of the leg through the hamstrings so let's take out the left leg of the sill and just grab your thigh or perhaps you will reach for your calf ankle maybe foot but doesn't mean you instantly need to do those things first of all just uh, you should feel the soft uh, stretching uh, sensation through the back of the leg so don't go all the way down and you know stretching full power <laughs> just slowly uh, let's deepen the pose of a breath out and as you breathe out that's where you want to deepen that stretch unless it's already maybe quite uh, strong so just stay where you are and keep breathing and as you exhale that's when you slightly draw your leg towards your chest towards your nose maybe closing your eyes and that way body tends to release even more and when we stretch through the hamstrings again we're releasing the tension from the lower back okay last big breath in breathing out and just bend your knee and this time we will now end up on our belly so we will revolve a twirl around so just uh, elongate your extend your arms over your head and now we will twist towards the right side through the knee and then all the way on your belly and extend that left leg all the way on the floor bring your palms under the shoulders and readjust that you would be back on your mat with a knee up and we will coming into this on three pose okay so make sure that your palms just under the shoulder spreading out and, and we will come into this kind of hybrid tiger and cat curl position dynamically so just keep extending your back leg for now uh, foot flexed and as I mentioned knee is just under the hip so inhaling and looking up the ceiling opening through the front of the body exhale and curl in bend the back leg and look to your belly now adding up the opposite arm so extend your left arm over your head over your ear exhale and bend the elbow to the opposite knee inhaling opening up reaching as high as you can exhaling and squeezing in and curling activating abdominal muscles so a few more like that inhaling exhale inwards and the last one opening up exhale curl okay and let's uh, intensify this by coming into the plank so just once again keep pressing from the floor feel how your shoulder blades broadening up as if someone is lifting you through upper back and then extend the left leg and basically both feet actually flex like through the heels we're reaching backwards okay that will help you to hold a strong line now if you feel that it's very hard and you start to sink downwards uh, please avoid this because then you lock in your lower back which is very unhealthy so rather than that rather than holding straight line you can slightly go upwards through your pelvis almost like downward dog but don't go all the way to downward dog and just keep sweet squeezing through your abdominals through your core and slightly tucking your 
tailbone downwards, okay? So deep breaths in through the floor, look in between your palms as we're now adding that one of the knee towards the chest. So inhale in here and now exhale and bring your left knee towards your chest, towards your chin. Try to touch the chest. Inhaling, coming back into the plank. Exhale again, squeeze everything inwards. Inhaling, coming back in that strong line. As you see, not, none of the body parts are moving apart from that knee. Everything is else engaged and just pressing and holding the whole body. So left leg doesn't have any weight. Okay, so last one, heating up. And let's release into the half pigeon pose. So just knee by your wrist, bend your back leg and release all the way on your elbows. Release your neck, perhaps head on your palms. Just whichever feels comfortable in this passive stretch through your hips, through the hip flexors and quadriceps of the hanging leg. Just calming the breath. So one more big breath in and breathing out. And now inhale as we coming all the way up. And now let's turn back on the back and in instantly onto the spinal twist, okay? So again, just extend your um, left leg Extend your arms over your head as we're coming back. So I will twirl towards you or in other words, I will twirl towards my right side. Okay, and we're coming back on the back. So just let's readjust that you would be still on the mat. And the left knee is still bent. Let's leave it on top of the hook leg. If your silk ran away like mine, <laughs> adjust it through. Okay, so. And now open your arms into T-shape, just where shoulder line is, and leave it in here. Or if you, if it's comfortable for your neck, uh, turn your head opposite direction rather than your knee, so towards your left side, and feel that spiral through the spine, the feeling, sensation of stretching and releasing. Or if you want more, you can press lightly through your thigh, especially if you're polished keep on coming back. So keep pressing the thigh downwards, or if you want, you can add extra stretch to your leg by extending the leg and pressing through your calf, ankle, or foot. And keep breathing. Make sure that both of shoulders are touching the ground, pressing downwards. Maybe closing your eyes. Last breath in, breathing out. Okay, and let's come up. Squeeze your knee towards your chest, just hug your shin, or lead your knee towards the armpit for the deeper stretch. In that way, we uh, extending and stretching through the glutes, through the lower back. So one more breath in here. And breathing out, come back into the silk with both ankles in it. And start swinging around again as we start in the beginning. Soon we will change and switch sides. Just notice uh, perhaps there's difference uh, between your sides since we did mostly one side. So just check in with your body how it feels now. And then let's stop in the middle. Let's continue with the other side. Okay, so make sure your arms just by your hips, press, uh, hands pressing downwards. Now we will do bridge, but adding up uh, candle and butterfly positions. So let's inhale and come up all the way onto shoulders. Make sure you're drawing your shoulder blades together to make your weight on your shoulders rather than your neck. Okay, so let's stay here, but now we will add butterfly dynamically into the candle or shoulder set. So now bend your knees, open up as high as you can, keep lifting through your pelvis, through the hips, and exhale back into the bridge. Inhaling and opening through the hips while squeezing your glutes, 
quite actively and then coming back into the bridge. Feet flexed and active. If you feel too much pressure on your lower back, you can always support your back by holding through the rib cage, just helping out or leave your arms on a floor. So feel more like that. Keep lifting through your hips. Don't release and keep opening your knees wide. Okay, and now let's stay upwards into the shoulder stand butterfly. And if you want to keep supporting your upper middle back or leave your arms on the floor. One more breath in and breathing out, extend your legs and slowly through vertebra by vertebra coming all the way down to the floor. Let's stretch out that other leg, which is your right. So take out the foot. Foot flex and hold on to off the hamstrings, the back of the thigh, calf, ankle, foot, whatever is available for you. Just keep extending your knee and slowly with your exhalation, draw your arms, or in other words, your arms will draw your leg towards the chest. Maybe close your eyes, just don't force it. Listen to the body, listen to your breath. Just a little bit more. Last breath in. And breathing out, bend your knee, and now we will re-roll onto the belly. So extend your arms over your head and lead your right knee towards the left side. So almost like we're doing the twist, but we're twisting all the way and you come on a belly. Arms just under your shoulder blades, uh, sorry, under the shoulders and lift up onto your freeze and just adjust that everything would be comfortable. Knee under the hip. Okay, so palms spread, keep pressing away and extend the foot in a cell. And now let's go to that cat cow and adding up the tiger. So inhaling, arching, looking up, Exhale, bend your knee and look to your belly, curl into the body center. Now adding up opposite arm, so inhaling and lifting your right arm as high as you can. Exhale and squeeze in, elbow towards the opposite knee. Inhaling and opening, squeezing more through the back muscles. As we exhale, we squeeze through your abdominal area. Okay, so inhaling again, reaching and extending, exhaling and engaging through your core and curling. So a few more like that. Last one. And just place your palm on the floor as we now. Let's go for more challenging engagement of the body, which is plank with the knee towards the chest. So keep pressing away. Just make sure you're not collapsing into your shoulders. So broaden your shoulder blades and extend both legs, feet flex. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Out the whole body is engaged, nothing is released. Look in between your palms. And remember, if you feel too much, you can always make it higher, just don't go all the way down. Okay, so keep squeezing and tucking your pelvis under. Inhale in here, exhale and bend your right knee towards the chest, squeezing even more. Inhaling, coming back into the strong line, into the plank. Exhale again, squeezing in for a second. You can hold. For more challenge, just make sure that the whole body is stable, only that leg is moving around. There's no weight in it. Even if we touch the ground, it's just, it's just touching. It's not actually placing the whole weight. Okay, and the last one, and place the whole knee just by your wrists, by your palms into the pigeon and relax through, just through the upper body. Relax your shoulders, your neck, your face, and the back like it's bent through the knee. Just keep your foot activated, one slide out completely, and keep breathing slowly. Last 
last breath in. And breathing out. Okay, and inhaling, coming up. And now we will, again, re-roll back on the back into the spinal twist. So extend the back leg, lower down, extend your arms over your head, and let's turn backwards. Okay, and just adjust, perhaps you're not completely on the mat unless you're on the carpet, so it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> and uh, leave your right knee bent, foot on top of the other leg, and arms in T-shape or in shoulder height. Okay, so now if it's comfortable, just turn your head opposite direction, which is your right side. And if you keep on coming back just on your back, remember you can always slightly put pressure with your palm on your thigh or maybe adding even that stretch for the leg by extending it and feel that uh, elongation and that stretch through the back of the spine, especially lower back. Always through those uh, more passive twists, which usually are when we laying downwards and not engaging that much of our muscles, we always more release of that lower back. So keep twisting around <laughs> and breathe. Last breath in, breathing out, and inhaling, coming back. Let's squeeze that knee towards the chest of your mom. You can lead it towards the armpit, just a little bit stretching out and releasing, inhaling, and exhale, come back into the soul. And let's swing it out one more time, massaging the sacrum, lower back, and glutes. And now we will go to hip hang into the downward dog to extend everything through and twist around to lateral stretch. Okay, so now just take your feet out, uh, hug your shins and roll into seated position. Oh my gosh, my hairdo. <laughs> okay, so we can we can go into the hip ham into just from the standing position or through the flip. So if you're not yet comfortable with flips, just grab the silk, walk backwards, and just enter it through here, okay? Just make sure that the silk is under the hips, not on your belly. But if you want to do the flip, so just feet in front of you, uh, wrap around once, and then let's press it up all the way in. Okay, so silk under the hip bones, not onto the belly. Okay, and walk your arms forward as much as you can. Spread your fingers, just feel that rootness, groundness through your palms firmly. Extend your elbows and feel your shoulders activating. Release your neck. My head is just hanging, so that means your gaze is towards your feet. And knees slightly bent, just, you know, legs are loose and hanging. You don't need to extend anything. If you want, you can cross them and put them together, whichever works for you. And from here, let's start swinging around from side to side. As I mentioned, we will add this lateral stretch. And just a reminder to keep our back safe. We need to daily move our spine all three directions. So to the sides, front, forwards, back bends, and spinal twist both sides. So throughout this class, that's what we did and we will do with a few more poses. And change different leg if you've been crossing them. So just uncross and cross different foot on top. Just a little bit more. Just keep holding your shoulders firmly while the lower body is just hanging and stretching through. Last breath in. I'm breathing out. Okay, and let's meet into the standing. Either just simply stand up or through the back flip. Into here. Okay, so last two poses also more passive. Uh, back bend and forward fold. 
and let's first meet into cocoon either for the flip or simply if you want to go for a flip, flip but don't not sure how to do it there's a video here above and let's meet inside the silk okay so as you are now in the cell in cocoon let's continue on with a waterfall into the back bend past the back bend so just hold the edges of the silk take your shoulders your elbows out and slightly over your feet press the silk forwards that it would be less here by your waistline and it won't squeeze as much and then exhaling and sliding from the edges downwards into the waterfall so you can keep on holding the edges if you feel a little bit perhaps uh, discomfort attention through the lower middle back then climb slightly upwards or make sure that there's not too much of the silk here left maybe it's too much silk and that the silk is squeezing if it's not if everything is okay then if you feel comfortable you can release your arms perhaps interlacing when you add this front of the body stretch through your pectoral muscles through the front of a, a shoulder line or maybe interlacing your elbows and let your whole body just drop down and elongate and depending on your cell height might be that your elbows will be hovering off the floor maybe they will be touching as you can see mine does and wherever you are, either here, here, maybe you're holding the silk, doesn't matter. The whole body is completely relaxed, apart if you're holding the edges. Relax your legs, your glutes, relax your neck, keep breathing, don't hold your breath in. Let everything just elongate and drop like a waterfall. And don't maybe sometimes you hear that if you have some pain in the lower back, it's not helping to do back bends. Well, actually, it depends what kind of back bends. But as I mentioned before, it's good to move your spine all directions. So don't avoid completely back bends. Just make sure you're coming into it slowly and with awareness. It shouldn't be painful, just perhaps, you know, going not as deep. and slight compression is always good for the spine so last breath in breathing out okay and let's grab the edges if you have been really sad let's walk upwards so slowly don't overdo it since we were in kind of quite deep back then and do the opposite direction let's fold forward towards the legs just simply release your arms over your legs and side Relax your head, nose towards the knees. The knees can be slightly bent, especially if you keep on coming backwards. Now I come out of the silk that you could just see more clearly what I'm doing inside the silk, but you stay inside, okay? So as you are in the silk, just dropping the upper body, the knees, as I mentioned, slightly bent, right? Just that you could release more and not overstrain too much of your back unless it's okay for you so of course you can straighten your legs and then just drop it but in here we're not reaching for the feet or ankles we're just letting the whole upper body weight draw and extend and elongate the back actually the whole back of the body is here stretching out from the legs through the lower back uh, and all the way to the neck so just perhaps close your eyes let your body just sink keep breathing exhalation is longer than inhalation notice where you feel that stretch more intensively Maybe you will feel your hamstrings. Maybe you will feel more of that sacrum, the lower back. Or maybe in your neck or maybe somewhere else. Just always be aware of the sensations while you're holding the pose or performing exercise. Okay, 
and last breath in. Breathing out. And then inhaling and coming up and exhaling, lowering all the way into the lying position on your back as we arrive to the final, final position and it's Shavasana, the final relaxation. So just adjust the silk that your head would be in it. Arms might be hanging by your ears or maybe crossed over your chest. Again, whichever works for you. Make yourself comfortable and we will here just do a short relaxation but of course you can make it as long as you want and uh, perhaps just listen what i'm saying through but continue on even after this video maybe pause the video and your relaxation for a longer time but whenever you are just uh, scan your body from your head towards the toes make sure everything is released and relax Keep breathing just in your natural breath, nothing special anymore. We don't need to do now, letting the body to settle in and at the same time to absorb all the information what we did today, what we stretch, strengthen, so that uh, everything will spread out through the body, through physical as well as energetic levels. Feel that calmness over you. My thoughts just come and go. Last few breaths in here, unless you will continue with a longer relaxation. And then inhaling and start moving your fingers and toes, just slight small movements in your body and then stretch out and perhaps to the sides as you would stretch in the morning. And then let's meet all the way down on the mat into the seated position. And this is the end of our today's class for lower back, for pain relief in that area. So I hope your lower back is now more happy and more released. Uh, let me know how it was for you this class in down in the comments. Just share your thoughts. I always love to read your comments. And uh, as always, you know, just like, subscribe. Don't forget to push that notification button that you would be the first to know when I'm releasing my new classes. Also, all the information about my courses or silks if you want to own your own, about memberships and so on and so forth. You can always find just everything down in description below this video or in my website. And that's it, guys. So enjoy your day. Have a beautiful time. And I see you in the next one. Namaste.